It's accreditation day! We've got Miss Foster Q from the NHS here to cross some T's, dot some I's and give us that lovely accreditation. I don't give out accreditations. <laughs> Put that out there. I, if anything, it's sort of like an early inspection. Yeah. Listen, you'll change your mind once you see us work. We've got this guy coming. Yeah, he's getting the cucumbers. Yeah, that's it. All we've got to do is cue him with his bit of cucumbers. <laughs> Couldn't be easier. Oh my God! He's blind. We're not blind, ready? Go in there and pick up the trip hazards. Hello. I'll take that. We're just in here, are we? Yep, just in here. I should introduce myself, Chris. I'm Jess. I don't actually work here. I'm well, nice sort of to meet you, Jess. Around today, Not so yet, but if you play your cards right. Hello, I'm Mark, Chris. Oh, I, hello, Mark. Um, um, nice to meet you. Thank you very much for agreeing to no, help. No. Thank you. Nice to meet you. This is Danny. Hello. Uh, Danny, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm actually left-handed, Chris. Okay, no, nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you too. It's been a long journey, I need the toilet. Oh, indoor or out? Uh, it's at the end of the corridor. Just this one? Yes. Thank you. Is that no. the indoor or outdoor? Uh, that's the indoor. Oh. I haven't done in there yet. What? I haven't done in there yet. Well, go on then. So you do, you mean you have an accessible toilet there? Oh, please. absolutely. Bloody hell, lad. Give us your hand. You end up breaking thanks. your neck like that. Thanks, Chris. Oh. Oh, oh, thanks, Chris. Thanks, thanks, Chris. Thanks, oh, nice one. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. If he can't see, how's he doing that? So you don't have an accessible toilet then? Well, it's not Chris who's been hurt, is it? Thanks, Chris. I see so many places like this, and the grounds here are so lovely. But I mean, some of the places you wouldn't believe the work that still needs to be done in terms of access. Uh, let's not put any poison in his ear. I wasn't necessarily talking about here. <laughs> How many sugars, Danny? Oh, I don't take three. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I mean, for 2017, you wouldn't believe the amount of places that have still got. There's nothing in place, you know. Three sugars, mate. Tea yeah. still in there. Thank you. Mark, a word. He makes a better cup of tea than you do, Mark. Oh. Yeah, and he's left a tea bag in so I can decide which tan I want it. That's nice. I'm convinced now. What? He's pretending. Pretending what? Pretending to be blind. Why would he do that? Uh, free dog, bus pass, half price TV license, parking permit. What, he drives? Oh, he's definitely not blind then. Listen, imagine what kind of a drain someone like this is to the NHS. Right. We're going to expose him, yeah? Right. And she's going to love it and we'll be a shoe in for the accreditation. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, it's obviously pretty rare that they bother actually dressing up in a doctor's outfit. <laughs> Hope I uh, didn't stress you out with that uh, blue coat, Chris. Wasn't it a white one? Yes. Yes, it was. So, Chris. We're going to do something called root cause analysis. You might have heard of it. Talk us through the origin of your fear of cucumbers. I was working in a vegetable packing plant, Danny. It was my job to put the cucumbers through the cellophane machine. I stood on a courgette that was lying on the floor. Did it, does it not go through the machine? Only takes cucumbers. Uh -huh. And just as a shipment of cucumbers was coming in, they all landed on top of me, Danny. Oh. Took them three hours to get me out. Three. Take your time. Three hours. They don't let blind people work in cold food distribution anymore. Oh, that's discrimination. That is discrimination. You need to you need to make a note that we just said that is discrimination. You you should take this to the. Uh, to, to, to the government, to the, to the government's anti-discrimination board. I can't, Danny. Why not? To the gherkin. Under the guise of curing Chris of his phobia of cucumbers, I'm going to expose the fact he's not actually blind. 
Okay, guys. So can ask what's going on. Absolutely. This is what's known as EMP therapy. What does that stand for? Not now, Mark. The best way to destroy a phobia is to physically destroy that phobia. Off you go, Chris. <gasps> die, 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 Four out of four. <laughs> Can I ask what we're doing in here? Uh, accreditation worthy treatment. Obs. Danny, look, he kicked it straight and off. You think that surprises me, Mark? I've got video evidence of him driving a car, operating heavy machinery, and with perfect hand eye coordination. Yeah, the final piece of proof. He's now going to destroy a cucumber with a Black & Decker 1200 watt, 240 volt, 185 mil circular saw. Oh, cool.